Alright guys, so for the past couple of videos we've been talking about IP addresses and subnets and right now we basically know that whenever we have a network any device on our network it needs to have its own IP address and that's just essentially what it boils down to is a unique identification number so we can identify and manage every device. Alright, so that's easy enough but here's the thing. How do these numbers get assigned? I mean, I learned about subnets, and I know that we're only allowed a specific range of IP addresses, but I mean, how do we determine which IP address gets assigned to which computer? Well, we actually have a couple options of how we can do that. One, of course, is just to do it manually. So if we wanted to, whenever we're starting a network, we can actually sit down at every device, this laptop, and say, okay, whatever IP addresses I'm allowed, you can have this one, like 1.2.3.4. Alright, go to the next one. Alright, you can have 1.2.3.5. Alright, well if I ever, you know, sell this computer, then I have to say, okay, um, so free that IP address up and I can, you know, use it somewhere else. Well, all that is going to take a long time and of course, whenever we just, you know, want to get on the internet at our house, most people, you know, don't want to have to learn how to assign IP addresses to each device. So instead, what usually happens is all this is taken care of through a method called DHCP. You guys have to excuse my handwriting because I haven't used this tablet in, I don't know, a few weeks. And these things are actually really weird uh, once you start like using them after you haven't used them in a while. But uh, nonetheless, all right. So DHCP, this stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. Now long name but it's actually really easy all this protocol does is whenever you have a new device on your network or a device leaves it assigns it or what's the opposite of assign design no unassigns it um, an IP address so basically all of this work that we would have to do manually assigning an IP address manually is taken care of automatically using DHCP now just as a side note you can actually have an entire server devoted to just this but you really don't need that unless you know you have a huge humongous network um, you know maybe if you had like a college or something that you would have a server just for DHCP most server operating systems have DHCP built in so if you want to just you know enable it then you can do that however just for a simple home network DHCP is built into most routers and usually users don't even have to worry about it because you know you plug in your router and it just works but I'm gonna be showing you guys in this example of you know how a home network communicates using DHCP and how it automatically gets an IP address so let me what color am I gonna use how about this cool little red orange one alright so here are my computers already in my house these already have IP addresses already hooked up however I just got this computer at Best Buy so I bring it home I boot it up turn it on and right now my computer knows nothing about this network right here it's a brand new computer it doesn't know where the heck it is it doesn't have any IP address assigned to it so the very first thing that it's gonna do is it's gonna I'll write this down so it's gonna send out a broadcast packet and it's called a DHCP discover message now you know how I talk to you guys about the special broadcast address that's assigned whenever you have you know your range of IP addresses that you're allowed to use what th this address essentially does is it takes a message and it sends it out to everyone it possibly can now it only needs to talk to the router but it doesn't know that yet it you know pretty much knows nothing about the network so this discover message it's pretty much the equivalent of your laptop shout shouting out hey someone I'm here I need an IP address someone please help me so that's what it is and for the source it uses 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 so your default IP address before you have an actual one assigned is just 0000, 000, 000. that means whenever anyone gets this message and send it back just broadcast it out shout it out to anyone so that's the return address and the next thing that happens let me pick a new color here all right so whenever your router hears this what it does is it sends back a DHCP offer so it says okay I heard that someone said they need an IP address 
what I'm going to do is this. I am going to look through all of the IP addresses that I have, and if I have one that's available, then I'm going to say, okay, here's an IP address that you can use. Let me know if you want it. So that's what the offer message is. Basically, the router or whatever DHCP system you have is going to find an available IP address and it's going to send it back. And remember, your laptop, it doesn't have a valid IP address. So this is going to be sent over broadcast too. So right now, you know, these computers are pretty much just shouting at each other back and forth. That's the, you know, digital equivalent of it. But that's what's going on. So whenever the hardest part of this tutorial is actually just picking the colors I want to use. All right, getting kind of sidetracked here. So your laptop receives an IP address, let's say 1.2.3.8. This one's available. Your laptop's going to look at it and it's going to send back after it reviews it, something called a DHCP request message. So it looks at the available IP and it's pretty much saying, yeah, that looks good. Can I have it please? Now the last part of this equation and I'm kind of running out of space here, but once the router hears that, okay, the laptop looked at the IP, it said it was cool. It said, you know, it wanted to use it. It's going to send back an ACK. So A C K. So the router is going to say, okay, um, sure. It's all yours. And also here's some other information that you can use too. And it sends it not only um, the IP, but also things like the subnet mask and how long the IP can actually be uh, leased for. And you know, the router's IP and just a bunch of other information that it needs to be configured on the network. So the laptop receives it and configures it to connect to the network and boom, you're good. But essentially all of this happens behind the scenes. And that's why whenever you just plug in your Wi-Fi router, you're usually good to go. So again, anytime you're at home and you connect a device to get on the internet, what's going to happen is it's first going to say, Hey, anyone who's listening, I need an IP address. Someone help me out. And your router is going to go, Hey, I got this available one. Let me know if you want it. And your laptop's going to go, yeah, that looks cool. I'll take that one. And then your Wi-Fi router goes, okay, here's all the information that you need to connect. And it also takes care of some other things like whenever a device disconnects from the network, then it automatically frees up the IP so someone else can use it. But there you go. Now you guys know the basics of DHCP. Incredibly thrilling, <laughs> I know. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.